Hello, this is Charlie McCricket, Fun With Flies, welcoming you to the Kids Bench. Today we're going to be learning about the mayfly. He shows an interesting bug and he's been around since the dinosaurs. Okay, here's what he looks like. Now he's a pretty thing. Now that's him when he's an adult and he's got wings and he flies all around. But most of the time he spends his life as a baby growing up, he's down there in the water. Yep. He swims and hides around and he goes and you know, plays hide and go seek with fish and other creatures because they think he's kind of delicious. Now, when he's a baby, he's not called a mayfly. He's actually called a nymph or larvae. Can you say larvae? And he can have anywhere from 300 to 1,000 brothers and sisters. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Oh, that's cool. Okay, I have about 400. I haven't checked last. You should see our family reunions. They get kind of crazy. Bunch of crazy, bunch of crazy hopping bugs all over. Okay, and as they get older, what happens is these guys fill up with air, and they can't, and unlike us, when we get full up with air, we can just burp or belch. They can't. So they float up to the top of the surface, and they're in this, like, a plastic bag, and they get out of that plastic bag because we all know we don't want to go inside a plastic bag. So they, they pop out, and they grow wings, and they fly away. Okay, and that's called a hatch. Okay, and that happens every spring and all during the summer. And you can tell when there's a hatch. It looks something like this. See them all flying around, you know, all over the place and flying. And sometimes maybe on, on a spring day, you can go down by the water and you see all these little white bugs flying all over the place. They look like baby moss. That's probably a hatch. You know what? Let's take a minute here and we're going we're gonna to go with and we're going to draw. Let's see if you can actually draw a picture of a nymph. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch George draw one right now. And as you can see, he'll start with the head and he'll work down through the body. Now he's a pretty good artist, but you're, I bet you're a good artist too, so make sure you try and draw one. And he's kind of funny looking, this nymph, because he swims under the water, so he doesn't look much like the other picture we saw. But he's got, you know, he's, he's really cute though. So go ahead and let's get, you can draw him. And it's just taking a little bit of time, which you could take your time drawing them too. Mmm, that's looking good so far, especially right around there. I like that. Maybe one day I gotta sit down and have him do a portrait of me. Maybe maybe later you guys can join me, Charlie Cricket. Maybe join you waving high with my fishing vest and my hat. Oh, you gotta look around. Stand here by the water. I gotta be careful. Okay, oh, let's get back. He's drawing some more. Uh, it looks like he's about halfway done. So what you want to do is you want you want to try and draw this too, and see how nice of a picture you can draw. He's not going to color it, but you can go ahead and you can color yours. And then if mommy and daddy, they could probably go on the website and they could share that picture, or if they want to, they can actually download a picture and you can color it yourself on a PDF. We'll call, it the, we'll call it the Kids Bench Coloring Book. Okay, but oh, looking pretty good. He's He looks like he's he's almost done, but he's got to draw those. Now, those little things on the side that he's drawing, those little things, that's the lungs. That's how, that's how he breathes underwater. And that's what happens is he, he breathes through those underwater until he floats up to the surface and he breaks out of his bag and he flies away. And when he flies away, he only lives for a couple days. He meets mommy and they have... 300 to a thousand more kids and it starts all over again okay we're gonna he looks like he's wrapping up right here okay let's well thank you very much George that's pretty cool now mayfly when it's like that he, he's a really he's really good food for, for trout love him and all kinds of other fish and he's always hiding and unlike worms fish are used to seeing these insects in the water and they're used to seeing them floating near the top of the water especially when they're floating to the top that's when the fish are looking for them and that's when right before they hatch that's when the fish is like easy pickings is like going to the buffet so they try and get up to the top as quick as they can burst that little bubble and fly away okay let's see if you could say this real quick three times. A fly fisherman's favorite fly to fish with is a mayfly fly. I can't do it. A fly fisherman's favorite fly to fish with is a, is a never mind. You go ahead. You got practice. Okay. Okay. So now let's talk about the adult mayfly. 
Now, he's a fun bug, too. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to draw him, too. Okay? So, let's draw him. If we can remember, this is a picture of him. Okay? So, let's get let's get George back. Hey, George, draw one more picture. Draw, and, and I want to see everybody else drawing one, too. Okay? This is... This is the this is the male mayfly with the wings. Now that's pretty cool. Yeah, he does a pretty good job. He's a lot better at drawing than me, but he practices all the time. To get good at something, you have to practice all the time, whether it's fishing or whether it's drawing or learning. It all takes time. Now, a special thing about mayflies is that they depend on us. They're very special bugs. They depend on us to keep the keep our water clean and not dump any garbage or any kind of chemicals or anything in the water. So they have nice, cool water to drink and swim in. You know, they want it to be nice, and then they grow big and healthy, and then they fly away and make more. And that's how the fish live. They got to have something to eat. Okay, he's looking pretty good. He's almost, looks like he's almost about halfway done, too. I'd like to see some of your drawings too, but mm -hmm. but I would like to see you do them in color though. Okay, he looks like he he's getting close to the end too. Oh, that's cute. I like the big wings. See, that's my favorite part about the mayfly, and I love fishing the mayfly. And then we're going we're going to show you how to tie one too. As soon as we get done, maybe we'll ask maybe we'll do, ask George at Bug Central. And maybe we'll have him tie one. And what he does is he takes the video and he speeds it up real fast. So it looks like he's tying it real quick. But he's actually tying it slow, really slow. But then he speeds it up so it's more fun to watch. Okay. Well, it looks like he's wrapping up too. And this is cool. And remember, we can make it so we can, you can make a copy of these if you don't like your drawing. But I think your drawing would be perfect. I'd rather see you draw one than... Than, than just color one, but if you can't, that's okay. We can we can make it so you can download one and color it, and maybe take a picture of it, or, and we'll, we'll post it up here. We can have it next time we'll see it like in here somewhere or something. See what? Can you do this with your arms? Can you stretch? Oh, oh, sorry, got to pay attention here. Okay, yeah, that looks good, George. Thank you. Hey, George, one more thing. Can, can you can you show us how you tie one of those as a fly? Like if I wanted to go fly fishing with one, it's early spring, and I want to toss one. And, and, and do the thing where you make it really fast, okay? All right, go for it. And he's moving, as moving pretty fast. Well, that's kind of neat how he does that. I notice it doesn't look exactly like the bug. It, it, he doesn't need it to look exactly like the bug. It just needs to be close. It just kind of fools the bug when it's floating on top of the water. But the bugs are smart, so he's got to be kind of close. Now, later on, maybe we'll, we'll get to the point where we get good at this, and then we can start practicing. You can start learning how to tie your own flies so when you go fishing. So you don't have to pick up them them gross worms you could tie your own flies you don't have to be able to cast it real far or anything like that you could just put the fly on the end of the line and then just drop them on the water and watch them float by the rocks and the fish will come up and gobble them up see I have to I'm a cricket I gotta be really careful the water or the fish come up and gobble me up ah oh, that looks really cool George that looks really cool I like that Well, I think the next project we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, maybe we'll do a dragonfly in the next video because I like them. They're kind of cool with them big wings and long skinny bodies. So I hope to see you again real soon. Remember, this is, my name is Charlie McCricket and I'm your new favorite fishing buddy. Y'all have a good day. Bye bye.